This short video is on keeping continuity of purpose during meditation. And as the basic example, I'm going to be using awareness of the breath. Now, on the basis of setting up your posture, your intentions, and your sense of presence, and then arriving into the experience of the breath, you then have the general intention to keep your continuity of presence or your continuity of purpose to stay in the experience of the breath. So this is called continuity. Continuity is a very important word in meditation. And there's two aspects to it here that I'm very briefly going to introduce. The first is the, the actual object. So you keep <clears throat> a continuity on the breath as it changes, or the sensations of the breath. So a way of doing that is to actually say here. Let's say, for example, you're uh, doing the mindfulness of breathing and in the mindfulness of breathing, you're aware of the sensations of the breath as the breath comes in and goes out of the nostrils. You remind yourself of your purpose by just dropping the word in here, but in relationship to the actual experience. So not there, but here. <laughs> so you're feeling the sensations, and as you're feeling the sensations, experiencing them, however they are, soft or sharp or fuzzy, you drop in the sense or the word here. And that keeps the sense of continuity. The, might, the mind might want to wander off to something else and you're going here, here. This is where I'm staying, here. And you drop that in very occasionally, especially when you're getting more absorbed, you need to do it less. When your mind is more restless and wants to go off, you need to do it more. And it's just reminding yourself to come into a direct and vivid experience of this sensation. The mind might want to go somewhere else, but here, stay here. And in that way, you have a continuity of the experience of the breath as it changes. And the, the sensations and your experience of the sensations will change and you stay in that general location with the, the changes as they happen. The second area of continuity has to do, you could say, with the qualities of your mind, or your mind in the broadest sense, not just the thinking mind, but it brought the qualities of your mind as uh, you experience the breath. You might become calmer. So you, as it were, keep a continuity of that. You stay with that. So you have both the calmness and the sensations of the breath and you keep a continuity of them both, and they come together. And this is what we call absorption, where your, your mind is absorbed in the sensations or qualities of the object of meditation. In this instance, the breathing. And you become more and more absorbed, and the qualities of your mind and the sensations of the breath come together and they merge together in absorption. But before that, there might be a sense of separation. You might have a sense of the breath and a sense of your mind or qualities of your mind, and you keep a continuity of presence with them both until they come together. So even at the beginning of the meditation, you can have this at the back of your mind. You're going to keep a continuity of purpose, a 
continuity of experience of the object initially, the quality of the mind, and then the two together when they come together. At the end of the meditation, it's very useful to just drop the word in continuity. So you have a sense of that the, the sense of presence that you have, the experience of awareness that you have, in some way or some form will continue outside of the meditation. So you continue to be here, present and engaged in a vivid and alive way.